crazy thing with the internet is sometimes you you don't know what's gonna be a thing of you know interest for people. And I think we had a feeling that people would be into it because everybody just likes Drake and talking about Drake culture. <laughs> This record comes out August 5th. It's called Morning Report. We're really excited about it. It's like, I think our most adventurous record yet. Yeah, we didn't self-produce this one. We actually had four pro different producers work on the album, and it was a great process for us, because we'd never done that before. It was always just one producer or, or on our own, and I think having like a couple of different producers and a couple of different sessions just kept it all really fresh and kept us like creating new ideas, and the producers challenge you in, in a great way, and everybody's a little different, so that was a great experiment we went for this time. And, and I think it made for a really diverse record and a record that's really exciting for us. The thing we've learned, and this is from working with like really good crew and different promoters and just different people in music, is that there's a lot of talent out there. And to assume that there's like only one guy who can get your sound, whatever the hell that is, I think is naive. So we went into the attitude, like let's just go steal tricks from each one of them. And if one of the producers is like maybe lacking in one area, then we'll just steal the trick that we learned from the last guy and inject it into the session. We've put out Four songs so far from the record. We just put out a video today called uh, Drake's Dad. It's kind of about partying with our friends, but we met Drake's dad one time in Memphis, and he's in the video. The song came a couple months later, just thinking back fondly on this road trip that we took. And then we just sent him the song. We're like, hey, do you want to be in the video? He's like, okay. And he's in the video. He's a sweet dude, really nice guy. We had some mutual contacts that were able to get in touch, and he remembered meeting us. Sort of vaguely, I think, but remembered it was a positive experience. You remembered 16 yeah. giddy white guys coming up to him in a bar in Memphis yeah. going, ah! <laughs> it's always been my dream to to be in like XXL magazine or Complex. And if, if it ends up going that direction, I'll be the happiest guy. Like I watched The Basement with Tigger every day when I was like in grade seven through 10. So uh, yeah, if we can kind of go towards that direction, that'd be amazing. He just played in Chicago and Kanye came on stage and they mentioned Snapchat and stuff. And he has OVO Fest coming up in Toronto this weekend. So he's probably pretty busy. I'll be interested to know if it kind of slides across his desk at some point today. Yeah.